Okay, okay. I just want to say something real quickly as I start off this vlog. Um, today's vlog is actually going to be a bit bittersweet because um, today, um, today's vlog, uh, I'm actually saying goodbye to Neocar as the title suggests. Um, it is being handed off to its new owners today as well. So, um, well, it'll happen about like the Thursday before you see this video. So I have a couple days um, at the time at the time of filming it, but um, it is going to be leaving my <laughs> leaving my possession um, and we're going into the possession of its new owner um, by the, at the end of this by the time this video goes up. So um, it is very bittersweet to say. So. Um, Yeah. Um, so let's just continue on with the rest of this video. Thought I'd say that before we get started. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Now, what's up, everybody? As I said at the very beginning of this video, this video is actually going to be a bit bittersweet for me because I am indeed saying goodbye to Neil Carr. So this is what's happening. Uh, today is actually, um, when I'm filming this, it's, I think it's Thursday, 10 June, I think, 10th of June. Um, that's when we hand it over. Um, what's happening is that um, the they want us to meet at um, Petco Park and um, well somewhere near Petco Park um, where we're gonna sign everything over and um, yeah in fact um, I don't know how else to say this but it actually happens to coincide with um, the new owner's uh, graduation from high school. Um, so yeah. I thought I'd put that out there. Um, so also, because it's going to be Juneteenth when you see this video, um, for those guys that are new here, um, Juneteenth is basically a day across the Americas that basically says that everybody is free from slavery. That's what it is. Um, so also, um, I found out about this um, thing on the TikTok Black Business Spotlight, which is actually right here in San Diego. It's called Maya's Cookies. And I'm going to drive over there right now so I can pick everything up. And I'm going to put this in a little grad gift bag, whatever. And once I have that all filled up, I'm going to drive over there and I'm going to surprise, I'm going to surprise her with it just as it ends. Um, well, it got to be there by, um, 1300, and right now it's almost 1130, so that, that gives me 90 minutes to get everything together and, and get there. So, basically, we're going to get going in just a minute. Alright, just think, by the time this is over... Here we go, shutting the door. All right, here we are. We just arrived at Maya's Cookies. We're actually very close. I just parked. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go get um, everything, fill up the gift bag, and then um, drive over to Petco Park because right now it is 11:57. So I got just a little over an hour to actually drive over, find parking, and then. And then just wait. So, um, yeah. So what I'll do is we'll go ahead and get everything in. That'll be, that'll be that. All right, just went ahead and signed everything. And I'm gonna shut the car off. All right, we got half an hour to get everything settled and um, I'll see you once I get all the cookies. All right, so here we go. Here are all the cookies I got. You can see there are several. I got six. Five of them are for um, as a grad gift. While um, the first, this one right here, I decided to try one for myself because I want to give this a try. Anyways, actually, these are these are surprisingly vegan. 
And that's kind of the other reason why I came here too. So, because I'm vegan myself. So, I got, I just had to try this for myself. So, first I'll go ahead and taste this. Ooh. Wow. Hey, let me just enjoy this while I, before the chocolate melts inside. Mm. Wow. This is, this is actually better than I expect it to be. So there it is. There's social information in case you, case you guys want to follow them. Leave the Instagram Insta link in the description. So here's the gift bag. I'm using a Starbucks themed gift bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and fit this in here. I think it's better if I put it in this way. Even if it means be getting it at risk of tearing it apart. Pull the card up. There. All done. All wrapped up. So what's next now is um, getting ready to begin to drive to Petco Park. Um, I am just going to give myself some ample time to find some parking. And um, right now it is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is 12.08, almost 12.10. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get going. And, um, I'll see you guys, um, when we get there. Well, here we are, Heckle Park. I'm actually here about 25 minutes early. Well, better earlier than late, that's for sure. But anyways, um, anyways, uh, this is what's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the gift bag in here. I'm going to hide it. I put it in the back seat. Um, because the venue uh, prohibits outside food. Uh, luckily, um, I'll be waiting outside the gate for, um, for them to come out. Um, but I got here a bit early. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take you guys up on the, the pedestrian footbridge while I'm waiting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather everything up here. And then I'll, um, we'll get you guys um, up onto the bridge. Let's do it. Well, 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 here we are. Actually, I just received a message saying that they just got to the presentation of the class of 2021. This is what I got here. So I'm actually here just in time. I did not know that they actually were going to end it much earlier. Oh, we're already going. Let's head across here. Okay, truck. What's happening? So just to give you a little overview of Petco Park, um, I'm, unfortunately I won't be able to show you inside because um, they're at capacity for an event like this. Um, so this is uh, one of the entrances here. This is actually the main gate. Oh look, there's a little... There's that. What else? Thank you for following social distancing measures and staying six feet away from other parties. No. Face are mandatory and must cover your nose and mouth at all times except when actively eating or drinking in your ticket and seat at Echo Hall. Okay, so that was that. Uh
So basically, okay, so look at this. There's the Bayfront Hilton. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get you over the footbridge because um, again, there's the congratulations class of 2021. Um, So, just to give you a little overview of where we are, that's the Bayfront Hilton. Convention Center is right there. Um, gas Lamp Quarter is just down there, and then over there is 12th Imperial Transit Center. Again, there's actually a few people waiting outside with grad balloons. So, this is going to be really good here. So basically, um, this is going to be making headlines soon. Looks like it's, there'll be a news story going up on Telemundo in in a bit. Again, I'm outside Home Plank Gate. Just waiting for the new owner to um, show up and then um, we'll sign everything. And um, yeah, this is going to be a very bittersweet moment coming up. I'm actually just trying to stay in the shade as much as possible. And I don't know if you heard that, but they're basically airing this PSA over the, over the music, so. And I did not get time to go over the pedestrian bridge, but I did manage to get this picture of um, the, the trains that were waiting in the yard the other day. And this was while I was waiting for them to come out. And just like that, my time with Neil Carr has come to an end. As far as deciding Neil Carr's name, I wanted to do something BTS-centric but the car's engine is an i4 and not a v6. So in short, I chose NeoCar to be centralized on NCT, which itself is an acronym for Neo Culture Technology. And it's how to see it go. All right, everybody. So um, the transfer went very, very smoothly. So it's official. We, say, we said goodbye to NeoCar. Um, so without further ado, um, I'll go ahead and throw in a tribute to my time with Neil Carr. And uh, with that said, um, hope you guys enjoy it and um, I'll see you guys in next week's video.